Alright, magic items. Weapons, unique weapons, Zol. All right, Eric, Kyrie, two days, what you got? Did they die already? I think I got a Dun, 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 dun. Attack. Okay, wait, we got two days? Yes, two days. We're on the island right now. Nothing I can do that would take just two days. <laughs> now that attitude. <laughs> well then. I'm going to uh, venture around through the uh, ranks of the crew and see if they would uh, have use of my abilities to enhance some of their new magical items, uh, or if they needed anything created that might benefit them over the next, since we're going to have a long period of downtime, see if I can't make some money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You might want to say what you can craft. Um, yeah, the, the actual NPCs probably don't have any money to actually give you for these things, but the players might. There, there could be, there's someone uh, I, named Bonder, maybe. I, I can do scrolls, I can do arms and armor, I can do wondrous items, I can do wands. Uh, so pretty much everything but rings right now. Meow, meow, meow. Ouch. Alright, well, like, Bender might be able to make use, or someone else might be able to make use of the arms and armor. Uh, they, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm sure a Eric might like Keen on his weapons. Oh my god. I can give the monkey a blunderbuss. I <laughs> 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 the monkey a gunslinger! <laughs> <laughs> He's just a monkey running around with a fucking shotgun. Oh, it'd be terrible! <laughs> it's a... This day is just and by getting terrible, better. I mean awesome. this... This is so amazing. Screw the loot split. That was the real treasure. <laughs> God damn, this is so worth 2,000 gold. <laughs> uh, hey, Rick, what's your weapon right now? I'm assuming plus one falchion. Hey, Rick. I think he died. Oh, no. Yeah, I think so. He died in that big fiery ball that can be seen from space. And I think I can make weapons pl up to plus two um, if you already have the masterwork weapon. I can't uh, create the weapon from scratch. The armor I can. Nerd. All right. Let's see if this works. All right, an actual, you know, attack bonus now. It's, you know, higher than five. Is that right? Let's see, two, one, two. It's like eight o'clock. <laughs> uh, core classes. Nope, not right. Base classes. And he's dead. And he died. I'm assuming he died by that uh pant he, snake. Yeah, he he died as he lived, never solving a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Sorry, my kid. Was trying to uh, we'd let Oliver start playing Fortnite and he was having trouble logging in and I had to go help him. All right, um, hey Rick, what weapon are you using? It's plus one falchion, I'm assuming. Yes, plus one falchion, and I hope to put Keen on it soon. All right, well, hey, I someone, can do that for a some, price. <laughs> all right, so to upgrade it to plus one Keen, it would take an additional 
the market price would be an additional 6000 which means the craft price would be 3000 What are you charging? You said it was 6 for the cost, 3 for the ca craft? Yeah, because it's, it's going up to 8000 and it already has the 2000 from the plus 1. Hold on. Let me math. Don't try to shell me. I have eight ranks of fucking profession merchant ready to murder you with. <laughs> oh god. I was just thinking, if I kept that shark and used Awaken on it. <laughs> you would have a massive talking shark. shark. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it for 4200. Alright, I'll think about it. <laughs> Regrets, I have I'm... a few. As soon as I... Because right and now... It's your friend forever. That, that that spell makes it your friend permanently, so... Ah. God damn it. That's you just point. have to go find it. Yep. No, it's with its people now. It's better off. <laughs> See one little tear coming down my, my face. Ben, you're just sitting in the corner and just one tear? What the fuck, bro? Nothing. Nothing. It's salt water, man. Well, in any case, I can't do any crafting here because I don't have all my money here. So, that's pretty much it for that. <laughs> What's wrong with this? The formula in the cells range has an additional number adjacent to it. What? Are we in Sengor now? No, we're uh, still at... Uh... Yeah, we're doing the two-day uh, two uh, repairs, so we're figuring out what everyone is doing for that. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm peddling my ability to make craft, uh, craft things. <laughs> I better. Do you have two thousand gold to pay for this spell before you leave? Oh fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. So one of your twenty-four hours is going to be awakening your body. That is excellent. That is just amazing. The world was not ready. Sandara takes it. Yeah. Sandara takes it out to the fucking island, and they commune with nature. What's that like? Uh, two hundred platinum. Uh, for how much? Oh, uh, for two thousand. Yeah, it's two hundred platinum. Awesome. And actually, I'm gonna have to wait until I get to Sengor anyway to pay um, Sandara because I don't have all my money <laughs> with me. I don't have enough raw cash to actually pay her. So that's all right. All that money's tied up in plunder and tied up in junk. plunder, gems, junk, and most of my coin is actually on the um, witch's curse because I don't obviously I don't want to carry a bunch of money while I was going underwater. Same thing for carrying around a thousand gold mirror, so I can't do scrying. <laughs> That's all right. All right. Got to update my notes to that about this glorious day about awakening a monkey. I will spend some time. Uh trying to chat with Ashera. I regret um, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, let her know that I'm not, um, I guess, happy with being just a swab and let, letting her know that I'd like to, you know, contribute more and, and um, be more useful in a riddle solving or you know kind of advisory capacity um let her know that I, you know what books i've read and and Third. things like that Third. Mm. sounds like somebody's trying to get the position of head swab <laughs> head swab <laughs> Well, since I'm probably doing paperwork right now, I will refer to you to Kalor. Because Kalor is actually the bosun. And he, if he knows someone that's worthy of promotion, it'll be him. All right. Well, I will go and talk to Kalor. And since I still have this... Damn it. Damn it. I'm going to keep swinging until you leave my sight. There he goes. Take 16 damage. <laughs> Nope, my AC is 20 now. <laughs> wah wah. Ah, that's what I get for paying my people with magic items. 
That means that means my that means my job of hitting you with this corrosive meter hammer has succeeded. Has actually made your AC go up. <laughs> that is but, true. So that means I am a genius, and I solved the riddle. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> you solved like the tail end of that riddle, <laughs> and it didn't matter. Which is the we most went... important part. Because it didn't matter because we went through both caves anyway. <laughs> Doing it having a rogue. Disarm <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I am pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> I, uh, that's that's what I heard. I already trained a fucking monkey. Speaking of, so if anything, I solved the riddle. <laughs> Recon by face. <laughs> All right, stay 15. Bender awaken a fucking monkey. All right. All right, so we'll head out. Eve 2. All right, you're, uh, went ahead and rolled up your monk stats. It gains 3d6 intelligence plus 1d3 charisma, and its two hit dice are just going to be uh, d8s. Mm -hmm. One second. So you're saying this monkey could potentially be smarter than most of the crew? I mean, you can awaken a plank. Yep, you can. You motherfuckers want to have group? <laughs> <laughs> I once got, uh, like a long ass time ago in 3rd edition, I got reincarnated and I came back as a fucking dryad. And fucking dryads have to be like attuned to a tree. And we're like, fuck that, we're gonna awaken this fucking tree. Just take it with us. Alright, so your monkey gets to speak one language you know, plus any bonus for whatever. Mm -hmm. How does he have a 2 for intelligence if he has a 3d6? Uh, I haven't added it yet. Oh, okay. We're rolling that shit up now. Check, check. Alright. Did it do? I'm so kind that I'm going to roll this, and if it's a bad roll, I'll let you... Reroll it. Spend a hero point... To uh, <laughs> worth it. Roll any dice less than half. Oh, worth it. Yeah, worth it. <laughs> Just because I'm impressed. <laughs> this is, I I mean, when we were chatting with fucking Bill, he, I was like, you know, you're gonna be really impressed with him with that fucking shark. And he's like, you're gonna want to promote him. And he's like, you want? You mean I should give him like an assistant? But he, apparently, you're way ahead of him because you already <laughs> have an assistant. <laughs> Uh, 11 intelligence isn't bad. I mean, yeah. for a monkey. <laughs> but you could spend... You could spend a, a hero point... To re-roll the one. burn one. To uh, re-roll that one. So you're saying spend it, just not... It's not burned? Hmm. Yeah, it's a re-roll. I'll allow, I'll allow it just this once. All right. Go but for yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's might as well. worth it. Yeah, just go for it then. So just roll 1d6. There you go. That brings it up 12. to 12. Oh. You oh, know you... what? I'll, I'll take Bender's roll. Since you... <laughs> so if it goes up to 15. Kind of <laughs> there it goes. All right. So 15. I'm just surprised that I didn't fuck it up to begin with. <laughs> so 15 plus 2, 17 intelligence for the monk. God damn. That Hold on. A... Wait a second. <laughs> this monkey is... This monkey is smarter than. Oh you... no! Nope, never mind. He's not smarter than me. <laughs> not definitely not smarter than me, but uh... he's definitely smarter than somebody on the crew. Could it be? Do you want your monkey to be a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this is amazing. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pin on this. I'm gonna figure <laughs> out what what I want him to be, dude. I I just wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't either. I want to say so, I want to say make him a witch, and then he gets his own spiff. <laughs> nah, Another, man, make him no, make him a monkey shaman. 
<laughs> monkey shaman. <laughs> this monkey is amazing. He's he's wicked smart. Maybe a wizard would be a good idea. <laughs> Because his, his most of their stuff is intelligence based, right? Yeah. Um, wizards, sorcerer, uh, wizards are intelligence based, which is our intelligence base. I don't know what else is. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that really stands out that's intelligence. Oh my god, god. Slayer! Oh yeah, he has stupid dexterity already, so <laughs> he can fly. <laughs> Flying monkey. That's shooting lightning bolts and shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe what we're doing. <laughs> this is happening. All right. This is this is actually happening, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we're not done yet. Uh let's see one D three charisma. Alright. Three. There you go. So I had three to charisma. Yep. It now has eight charisma. Nice. Not bad for a monkey. Not bad at all. It's like he almost thinks about it before he throws shit at someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or smears it on his face. <laughs> his spellbook is all on poo. <laughs> <laughs> at least nobody will steal it. Well, since this is so fucking oh, yeah. amazing, I'm going to go ahead and mention I have Killian's spellbook. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, I have Killian's spellbook. I was going to sell it. He, he this... was an arcane caster, right? Yep, he was an arcane caster. He was an arcanist, so he it would still work with wizards. You mind if I borrow that and maybe. Nope, try it's going it? to the monkey. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it back when I'm Nope, goes to the monkey. <laughs> Are you a monkey? Then no. <laughs> um. Oh, he gets a plus two hit dice. So it's D eight. So it'd just be uh, just so five it's extra. Get two hit dice. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Five plus con. Yeah. Well, it's is it two hit dice in total or plus two? Plus two hit dice. Okay. Yep. For a total of three. Yep. Nice little third level. Uh... Essentially, you have a cohort. <laughs> oh my god. What was it? Monkey Swarm? <laughs> yeah. Monkey Swarm of Wizard Monkeys. Oh god. It's a good thing we didn't go too deep in that fucking island jungle that's probably what, where they are hiding so where did we get the monkey to begin with out of curiosity i'm sorry <laughs> you better be sorry it was from the island we just admit... grabbed a monkey no i befriended the monkey yeah okay oh i'm sorry i wasn't after I'm after befriending a shark a great white shark <laughs> a great white shark named jab uh you've already do, forgotten do, because do. the monkeys do better yeah <laughs> Eats. So, let's see. He's got his charisma, got his intelligence, got his two hit die. See, so languages. We got to do that. He's going to speak the only language that matters: English. I mean, common. Moon speak. Oh, actually, All you know right, what? Get, I should. I should choose one of just like a three. random. Well, he has to share a language with you, and so then he can speak up to three other languages. So yeah, he'll he'll share common with you, and then you can just pick three others. I was hoping to pick something that like uh, probably nobody else has uh, as the common language between me and him. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, it's common. Yep. Common, and then three others. 
Is monkey a language? <laughs> Unfortunately not. No, animals don't have a language. All right. Make him really sophisticated, give him, like, elven and, like... <laughs> yeah, that would probably piss a lot of people off. He's speaking <laughs> elven. <laughs> Yeah, he has a ring of animal friendships. So that's how he's befriending animals. He's actually never going to stab anyone ever again. Like, during ship boarding actions, he's just going to be looking at, over the sea and just looking at fish and just befriending them. Um, how about a quack, Aquan? Aqu Aqu Aquan, yeah, Aquan would be nice. That's uh, kind of the generic water language. So we got Elvin, right, one more. Aquan, and uh, do, 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 do. Uh, could I give him Draconic? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Draconic, Sylvan, freaking. There's other elemental languages. Uh, I I want him to know a language that would just scare the shit out of somebody if he spoke it. Uh, Infernal or uh, what's the other one? Abyssal. Yeah, can I get either one of those? <laughs> uh, does anybody in the crew? Nope. Uh, let me see. Speak Infernal or Abyssal? Mm, I do not. I know Aquan, so I can definitely teach him that. I definitely know Elven, so I can teach him that. Um, I have access to Celestial, Draconic, Sylvan, and Goblin. Let's go I with... I can uh... teach him Dwarvish. Hold on, man. Let me get the Universal Translator, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking freaking Kalor. He has like he has like weird languages. Uh, He's got Sogwin. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, pull him up too. Kalor got you, bro. Common, Elven, Polyglot, Aquan, Abyssal, Infernal, Sahagwin, Ignan. Oh, you got the good shit. God damn. Ignan's the well, fire he language. Took, he took ranks in linguistics. Yeah, so he took, yeah. Each yeah. rank in linguistics is a, it's a language. Pretty much. Yeah, um, Ignan's the fire ling elemental language. Uh, Abyssal's for demons. demons. Infer Infernal is for devils. What's the difference? Uh, one is lawful. Uh, infer uh, demon uh, devils are lawful evil, and uh, demons are chaotic evil. Let's you go with the... Uh, um, so, then. yeah, it, if you were to pick one that would potentially be useful to you, uh, the Chelish, who have shown themselves to be a direct uh, yeah, opponent opposition. of yours, oh, yeah. are uh, very, 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 very uh, attached to the hip to devils. Yeah. But yeah, Infernal it is. There you go. Elvin, Infernal, and... Aquan. Aquan. There you go. I never thought I would be... You know, I, I actually need to update that in my notes that I taught a monkey how to speak Aquan. And Elvin, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not something I expected. Alright, so I'm not going to automatically give it Right. a class. You're going to have to take it in the combat. Okay. <laughs> See Once what, it like... survives its first combat... We will say that it uh, has enough to actually. Right. It's got to got to be initiated. Freaking. Now uh... it comes with weapons vests. <laughs> uh, due to it gaining that sec, those two extra hit dice, it does have a second feat available to it. <laughs> so, depending on what class you plan to make it. Uh, you don't always have to do wizard since we have a wizard. You could go pretty much in dexterity is fucking. Is dexterity is good? Yep. It's intelligence is good. Just wisdom, is, wisdom is decent, but no, I wouldn't do anything strength or charisma based. That's for sure. Yeah. Yep. You can't really do it. <laughs> What's his wisdom at? Uh, 12. 
Yeah, yeah, you, you that's not really. At least I it's mean, positive. It's it's positive, but you won't really get much higher than fucking level two magic if you go any divine shit. And he's definitely wiser than my character. Yeah. Make him a dual wielding ranger, and then just have him always flank for you. Nah, dog. You ready for this? Oh no. What do you got? Alchemist. Oh. <laughs> Can brew you some fucking potion, uh, poisons, man. Oh my god! A monkey that throws alchemical bombs. <laughs> Doesn't he need strength to throw? No. I mean, the, no, the bombs. It's dexterity based. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a thrown attack, so it's ranged, so it's dexterity based. Yeah. And I'm he can make mutagens it. to to pretty much give himself buffs. I'm liking it. He's gonna but what develop... if he becomes too smart? He's going to develop a drinking problem before then, probably. I mean, uh... he's an alchemist. <laughs> In that case, it'll even out. Yep. That is... We haven't All even, right. like... We barely even started the downtime, and you're doing some amazing shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is blown. So I expect him to literally spend all of his money he gets forever just befriending and awakening animals <laughs> <laughs> until he has his own personal army. Dude. Be fucking Master Splinter. Just get a bunch of fucking monkeys together. <laughs> Turtles. Yep. Well, you have a monkey already, so you have to, you have to stick to a theme. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's either that or you go fucking Beast Wars and just go whatever animals. <laughs> Weren't they robots, though? Yeah, but they could be animals. <laughs> eh, whatever. Eh, I'm not going to question it too hard. I mean, the only person that's going to notice that the discrepancy is the monkey himself, because he has 17 ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the monkey has skills and knowledge memes. <laughs> Dude, the goal is to make an entire cr awaken an entire crew worth of monkeys. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Just running siege engines, dude. They'll be like awesome, like riggers and stuff. They can just climb up in the rigging so easily. Yep, I vote for Alchemist for the monkey. Yeah, I'm liking it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now that we've kicked off this adventure, I, 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 it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Yeah, we're heading for Sankar. <laughs> also, I see that freaking, uh, I'm seeing new pictures for animals. Yep, there's a Disney villain. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, oh, Eric, no. you got nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much, Sandar and, or not Sandar, Chandra and the monkey walk out into the middle of nowhere, and then through the course of the next 24 hours, you see, like, glowing lights and animal screams, and when she comes back, the monkey's wearing a monocle. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that, yep. <laughs> I, I approve. You know, months back when I gave, you know, Ave and the, the, the siren song, I... You know, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, and I certainly did not expect this particular event from occurring. <laughs> so, I, how that all works out, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am actually impressed, Bender. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now let's go spend some fucking loot. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so, uh, Captain Sure, you mind if I borrow that uh, spell book? <laughs> Can't hear it, there's a monkey. <laughs> actually, I think his spells are actually shitty. You don't actually want them. <laughs> I want all the spells. No, I don't know. It's no, they, they, they're, they're actually pretty bad. <laughs> like, he, does, he's, he, he hit 6th level and didn't even put any 3rd level spells in it. Oh. Really? So it, yeah, because he, he uh, we kicked him, well, he left slash got kicked out before then. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it, it's honestly pretty shitty. I can't, I'll see if I can find the freaking list. 
Uh, I'm looking for more of like I need this really obscure random spell to craft this magical item. No, so, yeah, he he doesn't. Yeah, he does not have any good spells. All right, cool. Moving on. <laughs> I mean, I mean, assuming I'm assuming you have shield already because you have your own scroll for that. I think so. Yeah. God, I hope so. <laughs> you better have it. <laughs> which which shield? <laughs> Shield's level one. Abjuration. The spell that you didn't get kicked, uh, didn't uh, get hit with, uh, uh, the spell that you didn't put up when you were getting hit with arrows. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I didn't need it. <laughs> oh, um... I, I did just actually, fine. Actually, speaking of uh, ships, uh, can we leave the, the Thresher and start getting that squibbed? Uh, if you have the 2,000 gold for it, yes. Do you oh my see? god, it's the same cost as making a monkey alive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, do we want a living monkey or a new boat? <laughs> oh, it's too late. The monkey's already alive, so that that monkey. Yeah, yeah, that, that that that's that's been done. But yeah, if you want to, uh, you'll eventually want to squid the ship to rename it and have you know appropriate papers for it. But if you don't, you don't have to do it now, if you don't have the money or don't need to. Who's this? Uh, for uh, for you, the Thresher. Since you have that ship now. Um. Well. Bill is the Lord of the Rock, so let, let him deal with it. Yeah, that's his problem. <laughs> All right. I'm now captain of the Siren Song. <laughs> I I have no complaints. It's not my it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bill comes back. Bender's like, I'm the captain now. So like, no, me. you're not. I'm like, you don't have a monkey that says otherwise, do you? Yeah. In fact, like in fact, monkey. in fact, you're not Lord of the Rock. The monkey is. <laughs> He's been filling in pretty good. <laughs> Come back and just play the apes all over again. He's been. We've been having very good strategy, intellectual goal talks, and you know, every time he says something smart, he adjusts his barnacle a little bit. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Quite so. I must excuse myself as I see a man who needs poop thrown at him. <laughs> There's a there's a leg that needs humping. Oh, uh. you know what? <laughs> um, what do you got? The monkey from Futurama, with the hat that made him smart. <laughs> that hated being smart. <laughs> yeah. Not all all he has no monkey friends now because he's just too smart. Yeah, All right, whatever. so, uh... Jeets is... Jeets it is. What? It was... 300-odd miles? Uh, something like it. I don't remember if we had to do a week or two weeks. I think it was two weeks, month round trip. Okay. I am completely okay with that. Where's my notes? That is notes. So, it'll be two weeks. Uh... It's just, uh... Wait, did you pay to have the, the 500 to have the ship's sails repaired before you left the island? I, I would assume so, because we waited two days. <laughs> yeah. It was 500 right. gold. Yeah. I'm just going to take it out of the... Um... The loot pile? Yeah, the loot pile. Alright, so you get the sails repaired. It takes two weeks. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do in those two weeks that could be doable on a ship? Uh, probably just going to chat it up with uh, Sandara as we go over awesome tattoo designs. I am going to ask Sandara to give me a tattoo. The regular kind, the non-magic kind. <laughs> so um, do you want the AIDS needle or the, the good needle? Uh, the good needle. <laughs> Is it going to be like a a a monkey a tattoo of a monkey and it says Thug Life? Um, I believe it is going to be the tattoo of the monkey riding Ripster <laughs> with a <laughs> harpoon in his hand. Uh, <laughs> All right, so uh, she says that'll be a five gold for a decent tattoo. Hasn't been to a city in a while, so she's all strapped for the best mats. We'll be all right. Strapped for the best what? 
She uh, she doesn't have the best mats available at the moment, so uh, but uh, she'll get you a decent tattoo. Um, where is Santara? You know what? I think I'll wait until on the way back, so that it's you have the equipment you need. Oh, she's got the equipment. Yeah, what did you say she was missing? Just her, uh, you know, all the good inks. Like, if you want anything fancy, I should give you a like a nice black tattoo. No, uh, no colors, no fancy shit. You know what? Get the outline in first, and then on the way back, we'll get the coloring. There you go. Can do. All right, here you go. Nice. Boom. She hooks you up. That is a good roll. <laughs> Wait. All right. Anyone else? Anything two weeks on the ship, floating in the water? Um, I'm talk I talked to uh High Five Bro, can't remember his name. <laughs> about that's a, that's a Wait, bad press impression. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that's this is this... an unfriendly high five. That's how that's how you that's how you not get a promotion. <laughs> uh starts with a K, right? Kalari K K Kalor 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 Kalor. It sounds like somebody needs to pump the bilges. Ah, uh, gotcha. Takes thirteen damage. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Dodge that, bitch. <laughs> Damn. I think I lost a tooth. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you drink water right now, they're still coming out they're still coming out of like various holes that you've taken <laughs> from the fucking <laughs> tridents you took from the freaking cave. Speaking of Hold on, I got this. <laughs> oh <laughs> He's got two attacks now, so <laughs> eat that shit. God damn. Damn. Hey, Rick, don't you have two attacks now, too? Yes, I do. There you go. So... Oh, man, so close. Just need to get level 8. It's gonna be awesome. I just need level 12. <laughs> What's it, 12? Your second attack? Second attack. <laughs> I assume if I have two attacks, does that mean I get double sneak attacks? Uh, yes, in this rule set. Glorious. Yep. Somebody's gonna get murdered. Just gotta get that flank or the blindness going. Hey, Dwayne, you should hit your claws button. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that damage is wrong. Uh, how do I fix that? I don't get it. If you were to, uh, Rage and use your claws instead of your sword. That's what you would get in a full attack. Wow. Can I use those on different people? Like if there's a bunch of people around me? Yes. Awesome. There we go. That should be fixed. Try that again. Ah, there However. we go. Duel. Yep, that's the, that is the trident. And it's human bane, and you know what race Eric is? <laughs> well, he's not really human because he's uh. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which means oh, I have plus wait, eight to my hit chance. Wait, wait, was that a secret racist joke about how you're from the jungle, so you're not a person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my grandmother coming out in me. <laughs> oh shit! Ah oh, damn. I got you, homie. All right, so you guys arrive in second board. All right. 12 days. Or, sorry, 14 the, uh, days. The harbor fees are going to be 50 gold. Okay. And uh, the berth fees for the ship will be uh, two gold a day. All right. Cool. All right, you're the one who summons crocodiles, right? Uh, I captain. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Oh, you got to get that monkey to fight something or get a class level. What can you summon again? Um, I can summon any of the... Uh, I can summon a dolphin, an eagle, a hyena, a squid, a crocodile, an electric eel, a leopard, or a lantern uh, archon. The fuck is a lantern archon? It's an angel. What? Look, it's like a it's like an angel will o wisp type thing. Yeah, that's yeah, a little floating orb, like golden orb that shoots laser beams. They can technically summon anything off of the summon monster list. Yes, the things I listed are just the things I are readily available for summon with stuff set up. Okay, control C. But anything summon monster three or lower. All right, I need something to fight my monkey. I can summon. So your monkey a... has a CR of one. So you're so not going to want to go too busy with it. I, I yeah. can summon a couple of dire rats for you to fight. Can you summon one? <laughs> oh wait, summon... it's a it's a combat thing, so I can actually help it, right? Or does it have to get the kill? Hmm. Let me let me muse on this for a moment. <laughs> no worries. Uh, Wes, can you? Uh, I had thirty three on profession merchant. Uh, what's my percentage? Uh, what percentage? Yeah. You Solid. shit. Uh, man, I know there's rules for that. Yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> uh. Bender, I I will allow you to assist, but you're going to have to fight at least six creatures with you involved. With just the monkey, only one. With you and the monkey, six. You got to think most level one summons have six hit points, <laughs> but I don't know what kind of damage your monkey can do. Yeah, and your monkey might have yep. like splash or like rain dance as moves right now, and you don't have any TMs. Yeah, the monkey, unfortunately, uh, he's got 13 hit points, but uh, AC isn't great, and attacks are less than stellar. And it'll take me at least a day to switch from... Su well, if we're summoning more than one, I'll use Summon Monster 3 to summon level 1 creatures, but if you want just one creature at a time at level 1, it'll take me a day to swap out spells to summon level 1, and it'll take me a day to swap out to... Uh, Keen, uh, keen edge, anyways. As far as prepared spells to make the uh, craft a weapon with. Like I said, you have plenty of days, so. All right. So the monkey's damage is one d three minus four. So it's only going to do one damage no matter what. So it'll take six rounds to kill almost any summon level one creature. Unless somebody puts him to sleep. <laughs> I I think I, think, I, kinda... I think a chair is already already busy at the moment. Yeah, I'm I, I'm spending I'm literally busy every day right now. Unless you want to wait several months. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna craft him a shank. He's gonna <laughs> stab the shit out of somebody. <laughs> That's impressive. Or. I actually do have a light crossbow. Well, it's a medium-sized lost light crossbow. And he is a tiny animal. That's okay. I'll cast an enlarged person on him before he fights. <laughs> Unfortunately, enlarged person only works on humanoids, not animals. Ah. I'm learning so much about how to how to raise a Pokemon right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just need to get some fucking rare candies and we're good to go. <laughs> Maybe a lightning stone or some other shit. <laughs> yeah. a muscle belt or some shit. <laughs> well, let me know what you want me to summon and we'll, we'll, we'll get this on the road. But Yeah, I'm going to have to go uh, make some purchases. Because he's going to be an alchemist, so I might as well just give him a couple potions of like fucking face melty acid shit. Uh, well, fucking give him... <laughs> 
give him some potions of life, fucking bull strike this shit, buff his ass up. Okay, well then, if you don't mind, I'm going to craft um, Eric's uh, weapon for the week, and then uh, while you're preparing your monkey. How many days has it been? 14? Uh, it, it depends on you. Like, I'm on, I'm on kind of my own time timeline at the moment. Uh, <laughs> um, you, we'll deal with this. Yeah, I mean, you're working with uh, Kyrie, which it, she's doing a few things. Um, yeah, she's I, already spent the first... Or, she spent, she's going to end yeah. up spending uh, 11 days. Uh, six days right. crafting and five days training. I'll tell you what. There are, there's other casters on the ship that can help you. Yeah. I also have other things that I should actually take care of, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, many... the summon monster can be, uh, can be cast by uh, pretty much every caster. Right. Uh, and my monsters fact... are all buffed. Yeah, this is fucking stronger. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll probably go with somebody else. You yeah. Go do your little uh, training or whatever. Like, like, don't forget, there, there's a certain someone that is an actual summoner. I didn't realize we had one on the boat. Um, well, he's obnoxious uh, and he wears his idol on. He's not uh, on your boat, he's on mine. But yes, <laughs> you could borrow Kalor if you need him. So besides Kalor helping out with the summons, uh, what I also want him to do when he has free time, is to go ahead and start doing influence checks to go ahead and buff our, our infamy uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the curse. Uh, essentially, it, you can do up to five points, and if you get all five of those points, it's going to put us in another threshold, and he can just do another five points then. <laughs> uh, I'll have uh, Caller set aside five days for that. Yeah, uh, the DC is twenty nine. I already did the math. Twenty nine. Yeah, because it's it's average level uh, times two and. The average level of the curse is seven. Each ship's on its own infamy at this point, right? Yep, at this point. Okay. All uh, right, the DC's what? DC is 29. Wow, I actually have to roll 12. <laughs> God damn you. All right, here we go. That's all I'll, I wanted to do anyways. Yep, I'll <laughs> definitely bulk you guys up. How long does, it, how long does this training take? Uh, one day, so one day of downtime adventuring earned you XP as if you had defeated an opponent whose CR was equal to your character level. Oh, that's not really realistic. Uh, Kyrie can't fight even badgers. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the monkey with me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, you're not. <laughs> Unless you're willing to sacrifice yourself for him. <laughs> no, that's what all the summon creatures are for. <laughs> Dude, uh, one more level, I get reincarnate, and I can just reincarnate your monkey. <laughs> See what else he comes at back as. No, just re I, uh, reincarnate Ragnar. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why, so we can fucking call lightning again? <laughs> yeah, I, I need a body to actually revive. <laughs> Pretty sure you got blown to ash. In the famous words of Rogel Dorn, no. <laughs> Alright, so uh Bender, think about it. All right. while I've yes. uh, while I've had a moment to think here. For your monkey, uh instead of doing the whole let's have a fight a combat and whatever. I will allow you to I'm just going over the, the retraining section of the downtime. So, for 14 days and a hmm, 14 days and an influence check at the end of those 14 days we will say that you have Conducted enough training to get your monkey a level in a class. Uh, 14 additional days, as in, like, after all the uh, the influence checks and stuff? Yes, after everything else. 14 yep. days separate on their own, set aside for training. Yep. All right. And to augment this... Uh, unless you're training him to be a rogue, 
I will require you to find someone to help train him just as a, a flat fee for those 14 days. Okay. So if, we, if you want to do alchemist, you'll have to find an alchemist, essentially. Which is easy enough, seeing as this is a metropolis. metropolis yeah. Yeah. Right. Wes, how much is a uh, character uh, creature rating 6 worth? A CR6 creature? Two thousand four hundred experiences. Okay, then it it'll take me five days to get to uh, just over enough to get into the level seven, if that's all right. All right. So how long it took you? Five days will get me twelve thousand, and I need eleven hundred. So it'll nice. give me a thousand into the next uh, level, unless you want me to just put it at flat, whatever the. No, nope, it uh, it stops at the minimum needed for seven. Okay, that's fine. But you have to sing a montage. Hey, Eric, weren't you trying to catch up on some shit? BRB, but I don't know when that was. Oh, uh, goddamn. Why is there a touch on this dude? He's not here. <laughs> I know, right? God he's, damn you. He's so elusive. <laughs> like, literally, he BRBs the exact moment. I'm like, hey, man. God damn it. Nice. He did it a minute ago. Uh, so, craft. So we're at day 12, and we'll add another 14 days on, or 14 or 15 days, depending on how long it takes for me to find Alchemist, who's willing to actually train a monkey. Yeah. Even though I call myself an Alchemist, I'm not actually the class. So. Yes. <laughs> so I can't help you there. Uh... Also, you're busy doing whatever the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Dude, I'm so busy. Original traits. Where am I fucking... This thing got weird. How do I? Oh, class features. That's why I was looking in the completely wrong place. All right, let's get rid of poison steep. Bye bye poison steep. You did well in killing uh, killing Cahoon. All right. Uh, Wes, did you get that thing about the uh, ta uh, tattoo of sustenance? I did not. I pay her 5,000 gold, so she'll spend 2,500 to pay for the craft cost, and that leaves her with another 2,500 in her pocket. Takes her five All days. All right. So how much has she put in her pocket already? Uh, 4,500. Excellent. I might actually buy her something nice. I know, right? If she needs me, uh, if she needs me, uh, me <laughs> to craft anything, I can craft Wonder's item now. <laughs> All right, so the, the cost for your training for your monkey is going to be 10 times the monkey's level, which will be 1, times the number of days required, which will be 14. So 140 gold. Hey, Eric, let's get back. Worth every penny. And yeah, at the end of that 14 right? days, yes, and at the end of that 14 days, the monkey will have one level now. Excellent. This is. Bill's gonna come back. Well, assuming he ever shows up to another friggin' session, he'll come back and just be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, so good. Freaking, he's gonna. There's gonna be a freaking alchemist monkey. I'm gonna show up with freaking like wow shoulder pads that are like you know go up to the heavens because <laughs> that means they're powerful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at day. I'll be at Is day 14? 17 after at, my five days out adventure. I'm going to be at day 41. <laughs> We're at day 26. <laughs> okay, I'll use uh, from 17 to 26 to work on recruitment then until we've got enough people. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hey, Wes, I'm going to go ahead and start shopping for scrolls. I'm going to buy a scroll of Charm Person, which is minor. A scroll of Sever Fate, which is minor. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me get you. I see Eric's back. Let me get him before he disappears. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Go for it, man. Do it. <laughs> All right. Hey, Eric, we'll get to your research in a moment. You said you wanted to catch up? Yes. Did you hear my 
adjudication on how that's going to work? Uh, yes, we can go up to level seven. All right. So how many days is it going to take you to reach level seven? How many XP points do I get for killing a level six monster? 2,400. It'll take me four days. All right. So that's four of your days it is getting to level seven. All right. You can montage away with a Kyrie for those four days. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just uh, buying Scroll of Charm Person, Scroll of Sever Fates, Scroll of Conjure Carriage. Those all three are minor, so I'll just buy them normally. Uh, the last scroll I'm buying is Scroll of Spite, which is fourth level, so I'm adding the um, spellcasting service cost on top of it and paying it. All right. So it takes care of that. All right. So before I start going on to the crafting spray, does anyone need a Shira? <laughs> Not unless she wants to uh, buy me a Ring of Protection plus two. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> All I hear is she's not very grateful for that sword. No. <laughs> I was let me, joking. Wait, let me see. Uh, all right, I, that hit you this time. <laughs> Shall I inject you with some calcification? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. Uh, when I hit ninth, I can actually get Forge Ring. So that's why I'm probably not going to buy any magic items raw, because that's expensive. <laughs> All right. Uh, what should I craft first? Let's craft the uh, the badges. So Wes, I'm gonna have to craft six of those badges we discussed about. Each badge takes six days, so thirty six days of crafting. Woo! <laughs> yep, and I need to add that to this. So that brings me up to seventy eight days. But yeah, uh, we'll call it the Sea Witch's Favor, because that's pretty much the most accurate. Also, I, I'm okay I, with that. And also, freaking, I, I expect um, Jack to uh, name his uh, his squib ship uh, the Titanic. I, I mean, I would like it to be like something water or witch-related, but I, it's it's going to happen. <laughs> there's, no, there's no stopping it. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe he can just call it the Iceberg. The Iceberg! <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> At least maintains the water too. There you go. I love it. I, I'll, 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 t I'll take that. Like the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm just making sure I have that. St that is not the chart I want to look at. Is it? All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and finish out your everything you're going to be crafting, so we know how far you're occupied, and All then right. we can switch back to everybody else. And... Sounds good. All right, then I'm also going to... Get them as far as we can. Yep, sounds good. All right. Uh, the other thing I'm crafting is a witching gown. I'm going to be putting a witch restriction on this, so that'll reduce the price some. That's 35 days. So I'll add that. So that's 113 days there. And then I'm also going to be crafting a headband of intel, uh, was it intellect or whatever it's called, plus six. I'm also going to put a restriction on it, which is which only. And that's going to add another 36 days. All right, let's see how much money I got left. Mm. While we're doing this, if you other guys want to take like a little break or something. By all means, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> uh, what else can I craft? I got those, got those, got those, got those. I'll buy 100 vials. That doesn't really matter much. All right. Last thing I'll craft is I'm going to craft a belt of dexterity plus two for myself. And that'll take four days. How much money does that leave me left? That much. So yeah, it's pretty accurate with that. Uh, brings it to that. Just making, I'm just checking my freaking spreadsheet to make sure everything is how it should be. 
minus expenses, all the expenses. Brady fell asleep, so the kids are still up playing Fortnite. Nerd. Tell you, man. Going down a slippery slope. Yep. First it's Fortnite, then it's drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, actually there's one more thing I'll craft, and it's going to be for AA, Rick. I'm going to craft that Bracers of Shielding, which is just going to be twice a day shield. And I'll take one additional Ooh. day. So the total days that Ashira is going to be in here, fucking around, is 154 days total. So about five five months. <laughs> it's completely okay if you guys head back before then. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I'm cr I'm crafting all top sh tier shit right at the moment. Wait, what all are you crafting again? Well, I'm crafting top tier a, shit, bro. Top, yeah, I'm crafting a witching gown, which is essentially the best like witching outfit. <laughs> uh, headband of intellect plus six, which is the best plus intellect headband. Uh, belt of Dexterity plus two, which is just some extra shit. Uh, and then I made six badges for myself and my officers, essentially. And those give plus five influence once a week, control water, once a day, uh, cure light wounds, and once a day, shield. Nice. Yep. That was probably the most expensive part, was actually making the six badges. It would have been more expensive if I had another ship, because then I would have to make even three more of them. <laughs> but essentially, they're from the captain, the first mate, and the bosun. And it also makes Kalor as influ influential as fuck. Yo, this dude's going to intimidate the stars. <laughs> Plus five influence. That's the good shit. Like, you ever seen a man... You ever seen a man convince a star to fall out of the sky and crush the motherfucker? He's <laughs> about to. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do here is now that Ashira has determined how long she's going to be here. Yep. We can shift back to you guys. We'll determine the maximum amount of time you could possibly occupy yourself here in the city and then shift to other things. Yep. Uh, whether Ashira requires you to stay with her ship or not the entire time is up to her. I'm I'm fine with you if you need to if you want to hitch a ride with them or anything like that. That's completely fine. All right. So Bender, since yes. everybody else is catching up on experience points. Oh, yeah, I'll still like be busy with the monkey thing. While they're doing the experience. No, yeah, thing. I'm just saying, just, since the monkey starts out at level one, and taking a level one monkey into like CR six plus combat may not be in your best interests. <laughs> yep. If you wish to take some time, sort of like adventuring, like they did, you have to accompany the monkey. However, each day the monkey trains, it can get. Uh, XP, just like they did, equivalent to, you know, a creature of its current level, up to a maximum of level 5. Oh my god. Teach it Hyper Beam and Fury Swipes. Uh, so, um, so it it'd probably take a second to make those calculations. All of Killian's crap right. is gone. So, <clears throat> uh, the monkey would use the medium track just like everybody else. And if you want to train the monkey from level one to level two, five days to level two, then from two to three. Another five days. Then another five days for three to four. And surprise, another five days for four to five. 
All right, looks so, like we're going to be staying here 20 extra days. Now, seeing as how it is a monkey, and uh, don't want to make this too easy, I will institute the training cost between each level. Using the same formula. Ten, formula? Oh my god, my mouth. Fucking voice is breaking. <laughs> All right, so basically what we'll do is 10 times the level uh, times instead of the number of days to train, we'll just make it uh, the number of days you spent adventuring. So it will essentially be 50 times the next level. 100 for level 2. Uh, 150, level 3, 200 for 4, 250 for 5. So for 700 gold and 20 days, your monkey can be a level 5 alchemist. 700 gold? I 700 think... and... Shit, I just closed my calculator. But whatever, yeah. It is worth it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I'd say it is. Just just to put somebody else to shame, you know? <laughs> so that'll that... occupy 20 more days of your life. We're at 46. Guaranteed. Yeah. Nice. And you go to defensive. So it was 26 days after I completed the influence checks and yeah. So Kyrie, you have basically, what was it? 34 days. I'm at 12 plus the five is 17 right now. So, yeah, you have quite a few days. <laughs> Just... Yep, you got all the time in the world. Yep. So how, many, need... how many people do we need? We need enough crew to replace the ones that are dead. And I want to say also enough crew for the junk. Yep. Uh, the junk requires uh, 10 minimum, but there's also a ton of siege weapons in there. So you Honestly, getting up to like 30 or 40 will probably be a good number for it. All right, so 50 crew. 50 crew, okay. And I can get, what, 1d4 a day? Uh, you have to do a influence check, uh, DC 20. And what you get will decide uh, how many you uh, add to it. Okay, give me a second to finish making sure no I didn't miss anything on the uh, leveling of the character. I also have some money to hand out for the crew. Uh, 